Welcome to another Quick and Dirty Review. I'm Joe. And I'm Harrison. Filling in for Faust today, of course, and we like having other people here and give better viewpoints. But today we're going to be reviewing Suicide Squad. Yeah, because I finally sat down and watched a movie this year. Yeah, you finally got one. Why did it have to be this one? I'm asking myself the same thing. <laughs> so, we're just so for reference here, we're not talking about all of Michael Bay's films, because that's a Suicide Squad in itself. It, it can be. <laughs> it's more like Seppuku Squad, but I mean, <laughs> I, I but get what you mean. I can't believe I sat down and watched this movie, because I was just like, I was like, okay, so let's watch this as a DC movie, a Suicide Squad, let's see what it's all about. I'm mad. Okay, so first off, let me say this. Suicide Squad started out as a dark and gritty piece of artwork. And the whole idea was that the people were like, hey, you know what? Villains being uh, the good guys is this new fad. We love that. We're an anti-hero. But then... Let's take Deadpool and do it times six. Yeah, exactly. But the problem is, is that they had already finished rapping... When they when Deadpool did so well, so they went back and they reshot a whole bunch of stuff because they thought, you know what, this needs to be a little have more levity to it. I, I thought they had to go back and reshoot it because it was a flaming pile of crap. I think that's because they said, "Hey, it needs to be funnier." Ah, uh, but okay, so it still wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, we got to say this: so Captain Boomerang dies so quickly, it's not funny. No, By no, the way, it, Captain Boomerang doesn't die. Captain Boomerang dot no. no, no, not Captain Boomerang. Sorry, uh, Slingshot. Slingshot. Bad. Slingshot dies. My apologies. You are right. Captain Boomerang, he acted dead to me because the only thing he wanted to do was fornicate with a unicorn. He didn't even want to fornicate with the unicorn. He just wanted to protect his unicorn, and he was hardly there, and he kept running away. Exactly. So he should have just basically been dead. Yeah. Okay, but so a lot of the costumes that they decided to take from this is actually from the New Age DC verse. And of course, a lot of people had a big hubbub making uh, Will Smith uh, Deadshot. And they were like, hey, that's not right. It's not on the right eye. This is what's going on. Why is this like that back, that kind of backstory? And it was close. You had El Diablo, um, all kinds of different characters that did okay. But the most retarded part about this for this movie for me is just... It had no oomph. It had no character development beyond El Diablo because they had to develop him because he dies. Right. And Deadshot because it's Will Smith. Well, they had to throw in uh, Margaret Robbie. And I mean, don't get me wrong. She's attractive. I understand that. And I can't wait to see the girls. She she did, she did still didn't have any character development as Harlequin because... They had to cut out a whole bunch of it because Jared Leto's Joker was so OP, overpowering presence... That Joker was the problem I had with the film. That was the <laughs> worst Joker ever. Let's see if I can make you feel a little bit better about this. Okay, so the Joker in the film, if you ever looked over the DC Comics universe, it almost identifies, and for lack of better terminology, it almost identifies with the vice of the era. So look at and look at Jack Nicholson's character. It was very much the the alcohol and mobster kind of feel. If you go to the next Joker era and you deal with... Uh, Oh, gosh. Um, you deal with Heath Ledger. You dealt with uh, care uh, people who had to deal with, like, um, the dark side and, like, meth. And not even meth. Uh, like. The dark side of human psychology. And that's yeah. the Heath Ledger uh, Joker was basically saying it's like, why are you trying to save these people, Batman? Because they are all just pieces of garbage that will turn on themselves in an instant. And that's what he's trying to prove. Well, Heath Ledger definitely is. His character overall was a blessing, honestly, yeah. because I really enjoyed Heath Ledger as the Joker, and I'm sorry that he has passed away. But I think what they're focusing on here is more like the, um, like not even like hip hop EDM feel for the Joker, and more like the <sighs> hey, check out my hip vape uh, cigarette. And this this was the worst Joker, not just because. You know, fine. His appearance, okay. But the character itself, where he's all actually in love with Harley Quinn. And that is not the Joker. The Joker's not in love with Harley Quinn as a psychotic person. He's that they overemphasize that. And that's what ruins that Joker. She's supposed to be in love with the Joker. Very true. The Joker doesn't 
give a rat's ass for the most part. He he only breaks out Harley Quinn from jail when it's beneficial to him, not because of the power of love and friendship. Well, okay, so by the end, I think it actually, they tried to expand the love factor for them, and that's why at the end of the movie, he re-breaks her out. I, I mean, he does see her as a vital piece of, I don't know, tactical wear or whatever, or basically a henchman, but at the same time, I think that's one of the foul parts of this movie is that they were trying to be like, they're in love, and it's just like, no, they were never in love. No. It, they- it, I mean, she was over head over heels for joker the entire time yes she was true to her character yeah but i mean the joker depending on which version you really go with and that's the sad part about this is that there's so many different versions of the joker over the years you have the man with a thousand faces you've got the old gangster style ones um but overall the hard part is is that you don't know which one they're trying to point at here or if they're trying to reboot the whole idea of what the Joker is. I, th- I think they're trying to reboot it and they did it wrong. And I think one of the things that they did wrong is they did not um, they did not go with the psychological abusiveness or the uh, physical abusiveness enough of this Joker. You know, it, they, they showed a little but not... That, that true to a that hot character topic right now though. it, it is that's the reason they avoided it and, and, that, and I think I think they did the Joker a disservice by trying to avoid it versus actually engaging it um, but one of the things that they're gonna that they have expanded from in this uh, movie actually has been the fact that the the girl movie is happening Harley Quinn uh, I forgot her name, the samurai girl. Katana, um, who's, Katana. A, who's a superhero. Yeah, I, but Harley Quinn, to, uh, Katana, um, Poison Ivy, and then there's going to be a few others, but they're making a whole movie based on their characters. Is that what Suicide Squad 2 is supposed to be? Uh, supposedly. That's, or I, Suicide I, Squad 2 is supposed to be still Deadshot. I, I actually don't know about that. I know that they're making a movie with those three main characters because oh. there's also a relationship between poison ivy and harley quinn that's that, true in the comics but that's fan service okay harley quinn in her own movie is fan service okay suicide squad 2 if that's going to be different still has to do a lot better than this because the character development for these characters was a crock of shit yeah and i mean the one thing that they did really well and i'm trying to remember her name in the movie um but uh, Viola Davis plays, oh, what is her name? Um, Amanda Waller or something like that. The head, the head lady. The, oh, the the CIA. Yeah, like head lady who's just evil beyond belief. Yeah. Um, she that, did that was a, that was a good character. She did a great job, but how the did she survive? That's all I want to know. Is because she should never have been able to survive at the end. She was being, her brain was being invaded invaded by by the enchantress yeah and it's just like no she was dead leave her dead yeah and it just yeah i because, was like especially give me because, back diablo you take <laughs> waller i'll just ex- like especially because they had shown other characters being invaded by the enchantress that were being turned into whatever those machine things are yeah the weird bubble headed thingies yeah so, so, I mean, overall, I completely agree with you. I did not like the movie. I thought it needed a lot of friggin' work. Um, and it, sometimes it just... It felt like some of the characters they just threw in cuz. Like, Croc really doesn't do anything. Right. Like, the whole movie, Croc doesn't do anything. Katana, it was a Croc that he was in it. Yeah. C- so Croc doesn't do anything. Katana doesn't do anything. Uh, Cap- yeah. Captain Sparkles doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, who else doesn't do anything? Uh, let's see here. That made it to the end. Uh, oh, what Mister Mister Navy Seal doesn't do anything. Oh, Jack, whatever his name is. Yeah, and this whole Ric Flair. Yeah, <laughs> we we have we have to talk about this being uh, what is it? Uh, metahumans. Yeah, it, uh, which it, it overall it gets it left a very bad taste in my mouth, and I'm sorry if you had to go through it and actually watch this thing. Um, Batman versus Superman was a better movie. I would agree with you, actually. <laughs> and I was okay with Batflick, even. I, yeah. I mean, Ben Affleck was okay. Yeah. Um, this kind of just felt like they were just like, we don't know what we're going to do with it, and so we're going to try to produce it out. Yeah. We got Will Smith. They'll work in Harlequin. You know, we'll make it work. 
Yeah. yeah. So, so that's been Quick and Dirty Reviews, folks. Uh, don't forget to like or subscribe if we can get to 1,500 individual comments, uh, or sorry, unique comments. I will be forced, as well as Faust, to go see My Little Pony. You are very limited on time. It is coming out soon. I pray that you don't get there, but I also pray that you do comment. So don't forget to uh, suggest movies. We'll go see anything new or old minus My Little Pony. Um, I'm hesitant to see the Emoji movie, but I will probably still see it. Uh Call your friends, have them watch this 1,500 comments, and they'll be forced to see and suffer the My Little Pony. No. Like, comment, and tell everyone to subscribe. I'll kill him. Bye. I'm gonna kill him. I... This movie, I mean... Trash. Yeah, I mean, Jared Leto single-handedly killed Suicide Squad. I... I disagree the storyline killed that movie the storyline was weak jared leto